Hey everybody, Robert here again with more River Training. And today we're going to work on our framing for our commercial building. Again, this building came from uh, a design integration using all of River 2023 by Daniel Stein. It's a pretty good book. Or you can get it online or Amazon. But anyway, let's go. So here we want to start placing our beams. So here we're going to go to our beam command. Let's just place one beam so we can get the correct positioning. So we want to place from this center point to this one. And there's our beam, our first one. So I'm going to cancel this. And let's go look at this section and see what we're working with here. Okay, so there's our beam. And there's our floor. Uh, so we've got to reposition this guy. So I'm going to select it here. And I think this beam is going to have to be at, uh, let's go look at this in plan view once again. I'm going to show you some. So if I select this, and then you can see these, this zero, zero here. And this zero, zero over here, these are positioning, which you see in this um, properties box. So if I go here, if I change this to um, minus eight, for instance, so let's change this one here. We can just go here and go minus eight inches. Okay, you see it there. And then we'll come to this side. We'll do the same, minus eight inches, oops, just go eight. Okay, so there we have that now. Uh, let's go back into that section view. And here, We'll see our beam setting here in this bit low. We want it to sit right under the floor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this. Let's see, what's this here? What's this distance here? That's three inches. So I'm going to change this to minus five and a half inches. Yep, right here. Let's go here and say a minus five and a half. And we'll go apply. Okay, now. This is the one, I'm sorry. We want to sit right up under the floor. Uh -oh. Okay, so there's our position for our beam. So let's go back into our plan view. And so now from this point, all I'm gonna do is go into my beam here. And we're going to place on grid, and I'm going to use this W24 to 25. And let's see if we can take this guy straight through to here. Okay, we're going to go to different sizes, so we might have to change those. Um, I think the best way to do this, I'm going to see if I can do this this way quickly. Uh, we'll just place these in here. Finish that. Then we'll place some more here. Just to get everything going in this direction. For now, it was there. And we'll go here. Uh-oh, sorry. I finished that. And it's here. So, and we'll go here.
So there's our, our framing for this direction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select these beams here. This is, I'm going to finish these first of all. And I'm going to select this one here. See so if I can change him because this is going to be a 24 by 50. That's good. This one we want to change. Um, we want to change this to a W30 by 90. Okay, it's not there, so we're going to have to go get him. I can load it like this, I think. Oh, I can't. So we'll go back out into the cloud. Um, I'm going to go to my insert tab. I'm going to load here. Um, structure framing. I'm going to double these shapes here. I'm going to load it, and I need to pull out of here some more sizes. So I need a W30 by 90. See if I can just change this guy here. There you go. Okay. And we got one here as well. Let's change this to W30 by 90. So this is pretty simple how you do this, but let's get this done. Uh, W30 by 90 here as well. Have here so you 30 by 90 as well Oops. so there's our let's see what's this going to be 24 by 55 yes yes so this is going to be our this is a 90 as well. So as well, it's a 90. Okay, now. quite happy with this now so next thing we want to do is go in and add these down here so for this we just need the W30 by 90s here so I'm going to structure go to my beam and I'm going to go get the W30 by 90 and I'm going to place it right here Little turned around here. Place them right here, one there, there, okay. So we've got our our steel in here. Okay, so now let's go and add these other steel members um, going through here. So right here, we got a W24 by 55. So I'm going to see if I got that one here. W24 by, there uh, we go. Yep. So we'll go with this way. And then to there. Now, I could have did and beams on, on grid, but we've got some different sizes in here. Um, cancel that. So we've got 
Okay, now we'll take this zone through here. Um, Twenty-four by fifty-five. So we'll go straight through there. Okay. So now we've got our our grid, our, our still laid out in here, and everything positioned correctly. So this is the layout for the. Uh, let me show that thick line so we can kind of see while going to find view. So there's our, our starting off of our steel. So now we need to go and add some more pieces in here. So I'm going to W24 by 55. We'll go from there to there. And same here. Just going to go with that there to there. Okay, so depending on the structural engineer here for these sizes, uh, don't quote these on me. So I think we've got it. I think we need one more here and here. So get all these in the place and we can take it further here. So let me see what else I got here. We might as well finish this whole thing. We don't want this to be a long video. We need to get this done. Um, we're going to get a W by 30 here, so let me just place it here, and I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to just replace this with the 30. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, guys, so there's another one here. Okay, so that's our framing so far. And now we go in and do our joists, basically. And they're basically regular beam systems here. But I've got some more um, laying out stink, uh, still to lay out here. So what I'm going to do, I might leave it there. And, uh, we can go on. Uh, we can do a long video every now and then, I guess. Um, this is going to be 24 by 55, and then this one's going to be the 30. Okay, so let's have a look in our medium view. Oops, let's go back into our course view. So there's our second level layout with all of the beams in place. Do that in fine view if you like. Okay, so now we're gonna leave it there. And I'll pick this up in the next video. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we go ahead and put our joists in and support our floor. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody please subscribe and be safe. Bye.